Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I'm going to use Google Sheets in order to make a foreign language flashcards. Okay, so my wife is uh, taking Italian, and I thought it'd be kind of neat. We could have some flashcards, good old school flashcards, nothing fancy, nothing with an app. Uh, and we can use the Google Translate function in uh, Google Sheets in order to make those pretty easily. So I'm on a new Google Sheet, brand new here, and I'm just going to go ahead and create a column for myself, even though this isn't truly necessary for the actual flashcards. I'll do English and Italian, and I'll do another set over here, English and Russian, just so we can see how those work. And for now, I'm going to go ahead and size these a little bit bigger so I can see a little bit more. So I'm going to start off just by putting in some uh, English terms and short phrases right down here. In fact, I'll pause my screen while I type those up. Okay, I'm back. So I just threw down a few individual words and a few short phrases. And let's see how we can use this function. Let me go ahead and zoom in a bit more on my screen. Okay, and I'll start off with the Italian. So I'm going to use uh, the function here, equals Google Translate. Google Finance is also pretty neat, by the way. But I'm going to use Google Translate, and there's a pretty easy syntax. First is the cell that contains my first word, comma, and then I'm going to write in the language that that is. So I'm going to do in quotes, en for English, comma, and then I'm going to put in the code for the language that I want to trans, uh, translate to. In this case, it'll be Italian. So that's just going to be IT, ending quote, ending parentheses. It'll think for a quick second, and then we'll get our word. And then I can autofill this down pretty easily. And looks like it all worked. Now I'm going to try this again. I'll just uh, copy all of these English words and phrases, and I'm going to paste them right over here. I'll try it again over here to the right with Russian. So equals. Google Translate. Now the first parameter I'm going to click on is the cell that contains the English word or phrase, comma, in quotes, EN for English, comma, in quotes, RU for Russian, closing parentheses. There we go. And we start to get everything else. So, so Apple is uh, Mela in Italian. I don't know Italian or Russian, by the way. Apple is Mela, and in Russian, uh, uh, yablaka. I, I think I know the letters, but I don't know what the words necessarily mean. Hello, ciao, hello, privyet. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. That was pretty easy to make uh, to get these translations. Now, I think you're probably safe for sing single words and short phrases, but you'll have to check with a native speaker or a foreign language instructor to find out how accurate Google Translate is for longer phrases that have more verbs and require more conjugation and stuff like that. You're probably safe though if it's relatively simple. So once we've got our spreadsheet kind of set up with the language or languages that you're interested in, then it's just going to be a matter of styling and formatting the cells so that when you do print them out, it's, everything's going to look pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and select all these again. I'm just going to kind of narrow them up a little bit. And of course, even if we had longer phrases, um, we can wrap text. I'm going to make all of my rows taller. I'm selecting all of the rows by clicking and dragging on the row numbers. And then I can put my cursor in between any two row numbers, make those a little bit taller. I'll go ahead and select everything. And I'm going to use the alignment tools in order to, um, to center appropriately. Now, I can't see all of my alignment tools because I'm zoomed in. But if I zoom out a little bit, I can start to see a little bit more here. So I can do vertical centering. I don't think I'm going to do horizontal centering. I kind of like them left aligned. And then I can keep going from there. However, once I feel like I'm getting ready, in fact, I will do this too. I'm going to put some thin borders on these. So I'm going to apply borders. It'll give me something to cut if I'm going to cut these out. All right, once I feel good about that, then I'm ready to try to print. So I would head over into Print Preview and start to see how this is going to look. Um, I might tr try to go to Landscape for the phrase that I've got. For Scale, I can do a Normal. Actually, I'll try to Fit to Height. Nope, that's not making any change there. Or I, I can do a Custom Number, and I can just see if I could fill up the space. 125, so it gets a little bit larger. Once I felt like I was pretty satisfied with what I had, then I would, of course, print this out, cut them out, and I could just fold them over so that I have the uh, the
the English language version versus the Italian or the Russian versus the English, whatever two that you want to convert to, and just use those to study with. So that was a pretty easy way to go. I'll go ahead and cancel out of that. And the nice thing is, is it is electronic, so then you can start to add more to this as you get through a semester or term of your foreign language class. You can easily alphabetize these and resort them. You can put the, you can even make a separate column uh, just for level of difficulty or importance on an upcoming test and then you could sort by that so that way you could always have a new sheet. In fact, now that I think about it, if you were going to print these out, there's really not a big need. Maybe you don't even feel like you need to cut them all out. You could just print these off perhaps in portrait mode and print it off, fold the paper, and you would still have a really good example of flashcards and you can study your uh, terminology and your vocabulary. Okay, have fun and learn a new language.